Hello everybody, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're gonna go over the new Spring Chanel collection. It's the Comet collection for spring 2024. Let's go ahead and jump right into creating a look. I normally do swatches right at the beginning, but I'm just gonna go in and apply and do the swatches as we go because I'm so excited to get this collection on my face today. All right, everyone, let's jump right on in. I'm gonna start with one of my absolute favorite products. This is the Chanel Bomb Sticks. I have almost every single one of these. I use them consistently. I've talked about these consistently on my channel. I use these in my kit. I use them as a prep, which we're gonna to do today before I put my foundation on. I use it as a highlighter. You can use this as a multi-purpose stick for wherever you wanna add light and hydration to the skin. Not only that, they're convenient because they're in a stick form. Now the color is Mermaid Glow. It's got some nice shimmers in there. I'm going to apply it to the back of my hand and then we're going to apply it on my face first as a hydrating base and then I'm going to add foundation on top. Here's a swatch of the color. From my point of view on this end, it's got like a pink peach pearly shift to it. I'm going to go ahead and apply it directly on the skin and I don't even have moisturizer or primer on nothing. I just wash my face and I'm going directly in with this product as my hydrator. Sometimes I'll wear these sticks on their own and then go in with concealer and touch up in the areas that I need to. These are great also for the lips. Gives a nice fullness. I also like to add a little bit to the brow bone as well. Now that I took off the top layer, you can really see all those little pearly, finely milled pigments. Love that. I'm going on the other side and on one side only, this side, I'm going to add the highlighter powder and that purple blue shift. Let's get into the next product, which is the highlighter that I'm really excited to show you guys. Now I keep calling this a highlighter, but it's actually an illuminator. Now for those of you that are wondering, what's the difference between a highlighter and an illuminator? A highlighter is meant to catch high points of the face. It has a little more wow factor to it, where an illuminator, which is what we're using today, is meant to have an overall glow. It's usually a little more subtle and it gives you that lit from within look. So you can use illuminators and highlighters together. I like to put illuminators first all over the face and then I'll go in and then a highlighter strategically on the high points of the face where I wanna draw light or attention to the face. But looking at this beauty today, it seems like it's going to catch a lot of light. So I'm gonna go in with the brush and then place it on top very lightly on that bomb stick. Hopefully you're seeing the kind of blue, purpley, pinky shift that's happening here. I'm gonna add a little to my finger and add an extra layer on the high point of my cheekbone. Ooh, loving that. I'm gonna use my Chanel number no. one foundation. So I have my damp sponge. I'm going to tap this in. And then just press in sections all over. Now see how you can still see that shift of that purple, pink, and blue from the illuminator? That's what I want. Here we have an illuminated hydrated glow. And on this side, we just have our balm stick. And as you can see, it's not as bright because it doesn't have the illuminating powder underneath. But let's go ahead and get into the eyes. There are two eyeshadow palettes. There's the Rivage and the Coral Treasure. I was not interested in the Coral Treasure because I do not need another pink, reddish, orange kind of color. I have plenty and for the past, Goodness, five years, I feel like that's all I've really seen. But I was excited to see the eyeshadow that had blues and tan in it, which is this one here. So let's take a peek. I'm so excited to pair it with this eyeliner. This is the Stila Waterproof. These are the absolute best. They are waterproof. You can wear them in the shower. They do not move. Now the color I got is Blue Abyss. And this looks so incredibly beautiful. So we're going to apply this first and then we're gonna go in with the shadow, but let's swatch first and then we'll apply. A really beautiful, refreshing spring color story. So I'm gonna show you guys two different looks as I always do to give you guys some options. I'm gonna go in first with the blue abyss and I'm going to place it 
all over some of that liner and then I'm going to press it across the lid. This is going to create a rich base and help the shadow to cling well to the lid. I love to do this technique because it creates an effortless, kind of smoky, hazy look. And for those of you that feel a bit intimidated by blue, because it's, you know, a bold color, it's a great way to play with this color without it feeling like it's too much. Taking that liner now, I'm going to place it on the lash line. I'm working underneath as close as I can to the lash line to create a bolder color at the base. I love to use the tools that come with the shadows, especially with the Prestige Luxury brands. So I'm placing a little of that blue onto the applicator sponge and I'm going to press it on the center of the lid. For those of you that like a bolder runway editorial style where more is more, kind of fun, bright, bold. And because I put that base down with the eyeliner, this lighter blue now is really gonna pop. Now if you want, you can grab a little of that blue and pop it on the inner corner to create a bit of a pastel pop. Taking my MAC 217, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that matte brown and place it just on the outer corner and then you can lightly bring it in, but I want it mostly out here. Creating a bit of a lift, a soft shadow look. We don't wanna compete with the blue too much. This is meant to be a blue eyeshadow look, but the brown kind of grounded a bit. This is so flipping gorgeous, you guys. The color story on this is just really well thought out. Going in with a smaller brush, I'm gonna grab that same brown color and we're going to place that on the lower lash line on the outer corner. Flipping the brush over, I'm gonna grab that champagne color and I'm going to bring it just around the ridge on the inner corner and overlap it to the center on top of that matte brown. Now I'm wondering, and I wonder if you guys are wondering too, if that silver shade up here in the corner is similar to this color. I gotta know, so let's swatch them and see. So here's the illuminator. And here's the shadow. Very similar, but the illuminator is thinner and it has more blue. This has more gold in the shadow. Let's go ahead and take that gold shadow color and place a little bit on the brow ridge and move up and out. I really wanna mix these two, so I'm gonna grab the illuminator and I'm going to grab the eyeshadow and place it as a highlighter over here. You see how we are connecting one area of the face to the next? That way when we move our head, that whole area of our eye now is highlighted and lifted. I accidentally deleted this next clip, which leads us into look number two. You want to take the blue abyss eyeliner and where you see the arrows pointed, place it just on the outer corner in a V shape and on the inner corner of the V shape. The arc of the eye above and below, kind of the rainbow shape, is where we're going to put the eyeshadow. This next step you're about to see is where we go in with eyeshadow. Grabbing the shadow blue color, I'm going to place it in the center and blend the two colors together. Let it overlap a little bit on the darker blue color, but you want to keep the edges bright with the abyss liner. We're gonna go ahead now and add that shadow blue to the top arch where we didn't put the darker blue. Grabbing our Joffa applicator, a little bit of that frosty white color is gonna go right on the inner corner of the eye and you can let it wrap up a little bit into the V shape. Taking that eyeliner, I'm going to extend the outer edge just a bit to create a slight cat eye, a little lift, bringing the drama in here. Going in with that matte brown, we're going to place this all over the lower lid. Do not let it overlap though onto the blue. I'm going to push this up onto the brow ridge. 
God, I hope Chanel comes out with this color as a single shadow. I would buy this palette with this color in all four of the pan because it is the most perfect taupey brown I have ever used. It is perfection. There's enough coolness to create a shadow, but it's bright enough to make the eyes not look tired. I am here for this. Love, 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 love. We're grabbing a little of that champagne color. I'm going to place it right in the center. Gonna work back and forth. Just grab a little light here. Last color, let's grab that frosty gold and place it all over, up and out. No hard point of light. Cascades kind of all the way around. I'm gonna put a little bit of that color by the bridge of the nose in a painterly technique, lightly feathering it over the browns. So there's a nice gradation of color and light here. Now on this side, I'm gonna go in just with the illuminator, just glazing that cheekbone. I'm putting whatever's left over, over the brow ridge and the brow bone. Two different eye looks. Curious which one you would wear or would you prefer? I lean this way. I like the way it opens my lid, but I do like the sultry aspect of how the blue is moving out this way. So as you can see, this one's more wide open where this one is more angled. But let's go ahead now and do our last two Chanel products out of this collection, and that's the blush and a lipstick. We have the blush duo. So, so pretty. It's like a mauve pink, nice cool color, and then a nice warm peach rose color. Another application. These remind me so much of pastels. They're kind of creamy and powdery, so they're really great for those of you that have pores or texture around your cheeks, but they're very soft, not very shiny, not very dewy looking. First, grabbing the coral side. I'm going to place this on the outer cheek area. This has a lot more color payoff than what it looked like on the back of my hand, so less is more. Ooh, I love the coral with the blue. We have some complementary color going on here. I always like to put a little bit on the brow ridge just to bring the look together. Cleaned off my brush. Let's add the rose color. I go between loving the Chanel blushes and being like, uh, they're okay. Sometimes I feel like there's not enough color payoff, and then sometimes I like that there's not a lot of color payoff because then you can kind of build up your color. But this has the perfect mix of pigmentation with a very soft, creamy, romantic cheek look. Really pretty. Woo. You can really see how that illuminator mm, catches light beautifully. And because it has that blue shift to it, really complements the eyeshadow and liner look. And that's what I'm talking about when it comes to Chanel or couture houses is that, yeah, you can find great shadows at drugstore budget friendly prices, but it comes down to the formula and the artistic direction of who is placing these color stories together because it's not just makeup, it's shoes and handbags and clothing. So it's a full story and there's a dedication creating beautiful, well laid out ideas, color stories, textures. And when you're dealing with a couture house like Chanel, that is what you're paying for. Let's go ahead and put our lip on and bring this whole look together. Now there are four lipsticks in the spring collection, two of the balm lipsticks, and then there is two Rouge Allure Lacs. I love the Rouge Allure Lac, especially when it comes to spring and summer because it's a very wet look. I already have the Balm Essential Stick on, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the C Shell and the Rouge Allure Lac. Let's go ahead and swatch the color. And let's apply it to the lips. Mm, so pretty. It has a warm kind of rose peach to it, similar to the blush. If you look at this color here on my cheek, very, very similar. Love that it has a your lips but better look. It's kind of a natural finish, but enough color to enliven the skin. Feels great. The Rouge Relax had that kind of oil texture, but it also clings to the lips because they're not too hydrating. It just sits right in the middle. It's, it's basically a perfect mix of hydration and color payoff. 
very comfortable wear. We've hit the end of the video. I'm losing my natural light. I want to state that this collection did not disappoint. There is not one product that I am not happy with. This to me is my spring look. A beautiful, fresh spring pop of color on the lids. These peach rose colors are really well laid out. I'm so happy that I got this collection. I feel like so many of you guys are going to be drawn to this collection and enjoy playing with it. I definitely had fun playing with this makeup today. Of course, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, feel free to reach out to me. Always here to assist. If you like what you saw here on Shreve Voyage, the easiest way to support me as a content creator or any content creator that you guys are loving is to go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment and use those affiliate links down below. I'll have everything I talked about today. And if there's anything that you ever want that I don't show you guys, I have a list of stores. Every time you open up my links and you shop for anything your heart desires, I get a small commission and that helps me to continue to do this artistry education channel. And if you don't want to buy a thing, the best way to support us content creators is to go up to the top where you see thanks and you can donate any amount that you want to support the content. Next, if you haven't had enough, you can head to TikTok or Instagram where I go over mini tutorials and sneak peeks of up and coming newness. And lastly, if you guys are curious about booking a professional makeup artist of over 20 years, you can head to shrevoyage.com where I have not only lessons, but you guys can see my portfolio and keep an eye out because very soon under the shop section on shrevoyage.com, I will have products not only that I love, but products that I recommend for you guys and some of the things that I have made myself. All right, everyone. I hope you guys are well. Continue to take care of you and each other. Continue to be kind to one another and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now, everybody.